Uh-oh. Chapter 2. Wow, that was a fast chapter 1. Twin Shrine Maidens, here we go. There's something on the flow. Aragonite. Looks like a glowing blue crystal. That spirit must have dropped it. Once you find the spirit stone radio, you can use radio on the menu to listen to stones. Okay. Also got a spirit orb. Spirit orb or items used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power of lenses. Use a spirit orb from the function upgrades on the camera to increase the maximum level of the camera function or power up lens. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions or power up lenses, you can raise this level by using the points you've accumulated through capturing spirits. Okay, well, so we can level up our camera. Sounds good to me. Especially there's, I guess there's special functions we can equip later. It's interesting. Um, power up lens. Okay. Add a spirit orb to basic functions. Let's do that. Let's up the size of the capture circle, the maximum spirit power that can be charged, or the exorcismal power and shot range. I say, well, shit, I don't even have enough points for all these things. Like, I need a spirit orb and I need 6,000 points? Is that how that works? Or no? I'm, I might be unclear on how this works, but I'm going to go ahead and just put it on range. That sounds good, right? I don't really know how this all works really function power up oh 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 I see the function power up is for the points meanwhile the spirit orbs are for the max level okay yeah I think so I think I get it now okay select a power up lens to equip okay um anyway uh so I have 4,000 um I'm guessing I can only level up range. Okay, once I have 6,000, I guess I'll worry about it then. Um, for now, we won't worry about it. Alright, let's pick up this shiny over here real quick. Also, my sea star is missing. Some kind of device is on the table. It looks like a radio. Well, there's the spirit stone radio we were just talking about. Spirit stone radio pointers. You can find an old book on the table. Soon we have the radio. Soon we have the radio. Through the use of crystals in its circuits, this improved version of the crystal radio is able to tune into voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Osso, the radio clan also can also pick up sounds from the spirit world indicating feelings and intuitions in a similar manner to the sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins. All right. So that sounds like we can maybe talk to my sister through this crystal, most likely. Do I have to actually use it? Also, are we in a room we were in before? Um, this seems like a different area. Because I don't remember this bookcase situation. Folklorist 1, a book about the village. Let's read it. Ceremony Master, Mr. Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The Ceremony Master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to pr preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among all gods' folklore is the Gate to Hell, legend that has been passed down for years. It is an archety archetypal tale of a gate or hole that marks the border to the world of the dead, also called Hades, the Underworld, or the Netherworld. It is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but it is also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since ancient times, so it supports the theory that the belief is universal. The forbidden ritual regarding this hell, gate to hell that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. This strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. The villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage for food for their daily meals. The village has a little contact with the outside world, and they continue to practice the ways of the old, frozen in time. You got it. Hence, a lost village. Maybe lost in time village. You know. You know how we do. Do, 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 do. Actually, this is the room where I just fought that ghost, isn't it? I believe so. Also, what's, what's with the blue? 
apparently there's some kind of well there was why are we reacting here is there something that's back here I hate this control so much right now. What am I looking for here? Maybe I'll just take it and see. Something here. Girl in hiding. Oh, okay. Woohoo for me. I guess I found something. Cool. Okay. So, oops, Roman. Um, the one thing I did want to do is I want to check out that radio thing real quick. Let's listen to this Aragonite. Riveting stuff. Without you, I'm... I'm so lost without you. This reminds me that Pokemon Snap remake would be cool. God, I'm still praying and hoping they'll redo a goddamn Pokemon Snap game one day. Like, just to, just make it literally an on-rail shooter where you take pictures of Pokemon and have a bunch of random objectives. It can literally be that simple. People will fucking eat that shit up. Just put a shit ton more Pokemon in it. Make it adorable. Make the, make the levels maybe a little longer and fucking have at it, dude. I'd be down. I'd play some Pokemon Snap Remake, faux show, or 2, if they want to call it a sequel. Anyway, I guess we're out of here. Not before a cutscene. Also, Seaster! <gasps> there she is. Where do you go, 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 my sister? Do, 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 do. It's cool. I want to know. Oh. Oh, we're playing? Oh. I guess we're the other sister right now? Follow the crimson butterfly. Maybe? Where the hell am I going right now? There it is. Follow the crimson butterfly, dude. It's so red and shiny. I can't help it. Follow the red shinies. They'll lead you till salvation. This is probably telling me where I need to send my seaster. <gasps> Follow the ghosty goo. Do it. Dude, twin telepathy. That's what it's all about. Alright, well, um... I don't know if there's any benefit to, like, looking around this area some more, other than the fact that there's literally a shiny right the fuck there. So, we're gonna do that. Yo, found some camera equipment and film. Acquired the slow power-up lens. Sweet effect. Slows down the movement of a spirit. Yo. Don't mind if I do. Temporarily slows down the movement of a spirit being photographed to use. Press the triangle button when you've charged one or more spirit power points whatever the hell that means while this effect is active the spirit will move slower and shutter chances will be longer making the spirit easier to capture this will essentially especially uh, uh this is it this is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time raising the level okay yeah let's fucking let's equip that shit also i found what measure okay hold on maybe we don't want to put that one on Found a measure shows spirit hp Oh man, I like that too. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP the closest spirit in the capture circle in the viewfinder. Yeah, I like that too. Dang it. I like both of those situations. Damn it. Can I put them both on? Alright, well, something's already equipped down here. So this is already the HP one, it's already equipped. 
Oh, and then slow is over here. Okay. Interesting. All right, noted. All right, well, let's take a quick look around here for a min. See if maybe we can find any more random like ghosty goo stuff to take pictures of, or shinies on the ground. That works too. Another herbal med. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Oh, you're not creepy at all. You're not like the Ringu bitch at all. What am I waiting for? I'm waiting for the circle to pop up is what I'm waiting for, I guess. Okay. Whoops. I really hate this joystick backwards ass crap. This is me off. Did I get her yet? Bitch, go. Ah, she's right in front of me. Uh. Ah, take a picture of it. How do I... I can't really tell when I'm gonna do damage and when I'm not. Okay, I think I just actually did damage. Oh shit! Coming right for us. She's almost dead. Now that I can see the HP counter, I can tell when I'm about to kill it finally. Kill it! Anyway, we got her. And I feel safe now ish. Yo, I got a moonstone that we can listen to on the radio. You can pretty much tell by the noise if you're going to do damage and the ring lighting up. Yeah, the ring lighting up thing, it was my only indicator I really understood. Also, I got another spirit orb. Sweet. Alright. Neato burrito. All up in my Cheetos. Alright, first of all, let me check out the next spirit orb and what I want to do with it. I also think I have enough to level up something if I want. Let's add a spirit orb to accumulation. And I'm actually going to try and function up the range aha okay so that is how that works you put the spirit orb in it then you use oh shit oh yeah that hot read sub from our boy frost Sithis. you like my brand new uh sub sounds thank you for the resub that's eight months eight freaking months man i appreciate that very much frost Sithis. Anyway, I updated all of my notifications if you guys didn't know. So, if you'd be so inclined to sub, resub, or do any of the other things, like donate bits, we got some new notifications for all the things. So, feel free to uh, test those out at your leisure. Alright, well, anyway. Um, oh, I was going to save it while I was at it. Let's do that. Let's do that. I do that. I do that, that, that. Save it up, baby. Babies. Anyway, I was trying to come up with some more good notification sounds. Um, I got about, I don't know, I changed up like all my things. Like even the host and the rating sounds are different too. So if I get raided or if somebody hosts me. There will be no there's always been notifications for those, but now they're different. I changed them. All of it is spooky month themed. Also, uh oh. There's another ghosty goo here. Two of them, in fact. Also pressing wrong buttons and shit. Always oh, right in our face. Back the fuck up, homie.
I guess that means I'm doing damage. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, he's too close. Back the fuck up, homie. Dude. God damn it. I can't get used to this shit. It feels like it's so ass backwards. Just kill him. He's so close to dead already. gone. There's another one over there. Sir? Your buddy is, is, is gone. Would you like to join? <sighs> I will get used to this eventually, I swear. Also, Maro! What's up? How you doing, girl? In your face, bitch! Get it. Sick photo, bro. Dude, I pressed it. Oh my god, I hate this. I absolutely hate the control on this. I feel like I had a similar issue in the first game. Where I just hated the control of the fucking camera. I don't remember if I ended up changing it or just getting used to it. I don't I remember something not, not liking something about it. Anyway, we got him. That's another ghosty goo down, baby. Get it. Alright. There's a reason to take out the ghosts because we need the experience points to level things up. So, otherwise it's like, what's the point, right? But it makes sense. All right, let's keep looking around this area before we ditch it. There seems to be a lot of things around here now. We might as well clear it out. Check all the rooms again. Between catching ghosts and finding random items laying around, you never know. You never know. Just keep rechecking all the spots. You never know what kind of spoopy stuff you might find. Now I got that damn Halloween song stuck in my head. Alright. Um, should be the last room I gotta check, right? Or do I gotta check the door upstairs still? There's still one room I haven't checked again. Alright. There seems to be a shiny over here. Aren't you glad I came back over here? Found a village report number one. Maybe they belong to the missing surveyors. For some reason, one of the statues is in the form of twins. I have also found a description of a twin dainty statue in the writings lying around the house. Village report number two. I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can only hear wind blowing and it seems that the water is all dried up. <laughs> I can't tell. Village report number three. Found a small shrine at the top of a long set of stairs shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but it is well made and has not fallen into disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly. Village report. Report number four. I came to this hill to look, uh, to take a look at the gate I passed through when I entered the village, but when I tried to find it, you ain't find shit. There must be something at these places he's wrote about. Oh. Oh. So it's like clues to go check out. So, bottom of the well, statue of twins, shrine at the top of some hill, and the entrance to the village. That's the four places I... Hopefully we'll remember. And if not, well, oh freaking well. Oh freaking well. Damn it. Shit's hella stuck in my head now. 
All right. Um. Okay. One last thing. I think I got to go through the door that was locked. Because I think... Or do I? No, this is where the... Okay, never mind. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. I was thinking that that is where I went to, like, fight the... Fight that first, like, boss tutorial ghost. But there is a door over here. I don't think I checked this door again. There's something in here. One of those random ass things. Another one of these random ass frozen woman, corner woman type situations. Those are good to find because they're extra points and it's just one photo. I don't have to fight anything. Oh shit. Was that there before and I missed it or did that just show up now? I don't know. Got it though. Best way to get rid of that tune in your head is to play another one in your head like the Adams Family. Um. Da 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 dum. 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 I was gonna sing the real lyrics and then I was gonna make up silly lyrics and then I decided against both so moving on we can get out of this building now so let's go there's a shiny on the floor on the way out don't mind if I do Yo, Mayu's charm. Oh no, not her Magatama. Use radio. Oh right. I oh I never listened to that other stone I picked up earlier either. So let's do that real quick. I picked up another stone earlier from fighting that that monster that came out of a box. Let's listen to that one real quick. Yeah, see the woman in the box. Can't tell if that was supposed to be creepy or sexy. She said coming a lot of times, so you never know. Anyway, my use charm. Let's do that. Okay, that was not a whole lot, but hey, whatever. She just said calling me deeper into the village. Crimson Butterfly, please don't eat me. i do anything, and just don't eat me. It looks like you can get out of here. Go outside? Fuck yeah! It's probably a nice day out there. Aw yeah. Alright, welcome to the outside realm. I was going to say, was there any outside areas in the first game? There totally was. There was like a courtyard area... And like an underground area that was in the courtyard area. I don't really remember much else. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the entrance of the village because that was one of the four places the thing said. Maybe it'll like give me a little indicator that something's over here when I'm on the way too. Or maybe it's required. Either way, we're going to do it. There's bound to be something around here. Why would it let me come all the way back up here? Ah, damn it. There's a statue of a guardian deities here. What looks like twins is carved into the face. Seems to be many statues just like this one throughout the village. Twin deities. Anyway. Don't have nightmares, Morrow. Unless you're afraid of ghosts. In which case, I can help you there. You gotta, ha you gotta channel your inner Ghostbuster and be like, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Wait a wait a wait <laughs> I 
Anything else going on up here? What what this? Ah, damn it. Okay, that's just another twin statue thing. Oh. Um, well. I think that's more back toward the entrance. Hold on, let me finish looking around in this big, op like, clearing area. Make sure I looked at everything. I don't want to move off to another path if this doesn't lead anywhere else. See, there's a save point or something here, right? Is that what this is? Yes. Yes, I shall save, for I have done a couple more things since last save. Give you zombies all day, but when it comes to ghosts, you're a bitch baby. <laughs> you're the biggest bitch baby. Well then, I guess that can't be helped. Anyway, huge talon like stone pillars are lined up around the giant pedestal. Maybe it's some kind of altar. So, okay, why are you so afraid of ghosts? See, now, now I got questions. It always interests me why people are like afraid of ghosts or like creeped out by ghosts or whatever. Because like, is it because you've like had an encounter that you felt was supernaturally ghosty, or like? Is it just something that you saw when you were a kid, like in a movie or a show, and it scared the shit out of you and will always traumatize you? Is it all the above? Like, I don't know. Because well, I'll admit, I'm not afraid of ghosts and all that, but, like, if ghosts were somehow proven to me to be real then i'd be a little more wary of ghosts for sure why am i scared of spooters because spooters are real real creepy also this is not looking like the entrance to the village this is looking more like some spoopy scary shit like a graveyard or something i don't like it at the roots of a giant tree there is a hole and then there's a hole in the ground and the ground and a hole in the ground and i can't remember the rest of the song Appears to lead to some sort of cave. Well, can we go in said cave? And the green grass goes all around and around, and green grass goes all around. And there was a hole in the motherfucking ground, a hole in the fucking ground. I don't think that's how the song goes, but that's how my version goes. Ooh, there's a shiny over here. Also, poopy sounds. Ghosts are real. Okay, sorry, Destroy Anyway, yes, I had a mirror in my house that always gave me a creepy feeling, and every time I'd pass by, I swore I seen someone else. <laughs> well then, um, if you say so, Maro. <laughs> anyway, there's a statue. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So this is just another one of those twin statues. Give me that shiny though. Got that blowing blue crystal? Blowing? That blowing blue crystal! It blows while it glows. Also, got a spirit orb suit! More upgrades. Store of the shrine is shut tight. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait, is this the shrine? Hold up. Dude, wrong button. Seriously, wrong button. I did not mean to do that. I pressed triangle. I'm not sure what triangle actually did, because I don't think it took a picture. I think triangle uses, like, your ability, right? So I don't know if that wasted something or not. At least it means you're not dealing with a vampire. Yeah, exactly. But again, I don't know. Maybe I should think about it like I would if it was anything else from a video game that's not real, but I would be scared if it was. Like, like I said, if ghosts were real, or if they are real, and I just don't haven't you know, encountered one that spooked me out enough yet. Whatever. Till that day happens. Something about. Ghost just, it doesn't make into the dark black forest. Yay! Someone followed. I was waiting for someone to follow so we can hear the new follow sound effect. Thank you, the Marcus. 
for following the channel. I appreciate that. Follow me into the dark black forest. We're in the month where we will do a lot of the things in said deep dark black forest. Nice. You've had your TV turn on randomly during the night sometimes. You swear sometimes lights I swore were off got turned on and your sister when you lived at home was always prone to getting spooked by it. I mean, if those actual things occurred and you're not just being paranoid, could just been some weird shortage, short out thing that like made things turn on and off. I don't know. I can't really, I don't know exactly how things went down, but that's just, you know, that's just, that's just the skeptic in me. But anyway, I'm glad you appreciate the new notification sound, Morrow. Because we are in the dark black forest right now. It is spoopy AF around here. Also, where does blue stuff at? Is it right here? Right here? It was right in front of me? I found a frozen man. I did. He's still frozen. <sighs> okay, map. I need to look. I just want to know where I'm at. Okay, so I came. I went over there. Wait, what the? What was this crimson butterfly? What? Oh, that was a save point. Never mind. And then there was an old tree that had like a cave thing I couldn't do anything with yet. At least not that I could tell. Um, but it, it's blue like there's an entrance over there. So I must be able to go in that cave at some point. Um, Alright, so we're here. Yeah, okay. So now, now that I'm going to use the map more often so I know where the hell I am, let's, this will help. So hopefully I won't get lost. Can I go back here? These things always happen when you're asleep. They're never when you're awake, Destroyer. All the more reason to be skeptical, right? Anyway, the sliding screens have fallen off and you can see through the whole house. It doesn't look like there's anything left in the house, though. Well, let's go in and find out! A rundown well. There's no water left in it and a faint wind blows up from its dark depths. The surveyor must have been here. Near the well, there is a piece of a note. Aw, oh, yeah! Found the village report number two. Hell yeah. I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can only hear wind blowing and it seems that the water's all dried up. I can't tell whether which is the first uh, house of the well, neither has been used for a while. So that was the first part we already read. Now there's more. According to the records, this house used to belong to the powerful Suchihara family. In this village, the Osaka, Kiryu, and Tachibana families were also influential. Each house had its own crest and held power in the village. As a group, they were also in charge of a special ritual. Each was a branch of the Kurosawa family who administered the ceremony they performed the role of priests the Kurosawa name is scattered throughout the literature but no concrete information is written I have no doubt that they were held abs they that they held absolute power where in the world did the villagers go and how did you how do you get out of this village the answers to these questions lie within the Kurosawa house I'm not sure how I know but I have a strong feeling about this same dude same in my fans <laughs> funny no I'm just kidding I'm just kidding this game does not inspire that feeling. I'm, I'm joking completely, I swear. Because I'm just ridiculous like that. What can I say? You already know that, though. I know, right? Fucking Kiryu's and Tachibana's. What is this? Yakuza? Oh, my. Also, what? I did not expect me to be able to go through that door. I totally thought it was going to be like, You need something to open this door. You need a quest or something. You should call the Ghostbusters. Just don't call Ghostbusters 2016, okay? All right, I won't. Anyway, that door's locked. Okay. I just wanted to save it at the save point is what I really wanted to do. That's why I didn't want to go over there yet. Always make a save point. Don't know what you're going to fuck up. Save it. Maybe that ghost likes to hang out when you go to bed, Destroyer. Maybe. Yeah, dude, it can't be faulty wiring. It's got to be ghosts. There's no other explanation. I'm sorry. How could I be so stupid? Uh-oh. Cutscene. Shh. <gasps> Yai. It's a person. Yai. What are you still doing here? Don't call me Yai. Who You're a Yai. The ritual will be Mom's a Yai. Soon. If that happens... That happens. You're back, huh? Yai, you and Sai have to get out. She's at the ceremony master's house. She's gonna do it. 
Go get her. There's still time to catch up with Yai, her. The ritual is about to start. Hurry. What? Is that my name? Yeah, you and Hanhan. There's still time. Yai, Hurry. If we escape, I'm sure we can. Yeah. Okay. Sure. This is riveting stuff. Riveting, riveting stuff. Funny, funny stuff. Your computer really randomly goes in out of sleep mode at night and tries to run Windows Update? That's some freaky shit right there. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Take that computer back. It is haunted. I swear to God, if you do that, please record it. That would be the most amazing video if somebody actually fucking... I wonder if somebody's actually done that. Like... I gotta return this computer. And then they're like, uh, the Geek Squad's all like, but why? Is there something wrong with it? Yeah. When I'm when I'm sleeping, uh, sometimes... If you cannot find a way to leave the village, come and find me. I may be able to help. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll remember that, sir. Thank you for your interruption. Uh, yeah, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, uh, is there something wrong with the computer? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, when I go to sleep, it, the monitor, it just, like, kind of kicks on. And all of a sudden, there's like this Windows update that comes on. I swear it's haunted. It's got to be a ghost. I didn't click anything. It just automatically does it on its own. Like, what else could it be besides a ghost? But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that ghost, we like to call him Windows 10. That's his nickname. Oh, what do we have here? Anything? 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 Just a crevice that I can walk in on? That's cool. Alright, well we have another direction to go over here. Let's check it out. This is the direction that my sister went in the other little cutscene thing. Where she followed the crimson butterflies. There are other rooms further in, but you can't see them from here. So go in and find them, because you have a flashlight. Isn't that the point? You can't see them from here. So go check it out, bitch. Don't be such a bitch. Also, what? Okay. Little kid ghost walking around. Creepy. Not creepy. Well, I kind of want to look over here first, since that's where the creepy kid ghost is at. Hello, foreground. Hello. Another save point. Don't mind if I do. In a moment. Looking around first. How many of these freaking... Oh, 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 yo! Found that type 14... Okay, so from now on, I'm checking every single one of these statues that has the twin thing on it. I always see them. They're all over the place, but I haven't checked every single one. I've walked by a few that I didn't actually click on, like that one. I just happened to want to click on that one, and, well, I found fucking films, so keep checking them all. Makes it worth it. Windows 98 is haunting your PC. <laughs> Was it the ring? Oh god. Oh god! I'm sorry. Was it the ring of the grudge? It doesn't matter because it's fucking ghost time is what it is. Hello. Hello, friend. And his friend. Also not friend. Double kill! Maybe? No? Not quite. Double kill! I can't see right now. Dude, back the fuck up, all me. Oops, wrong button. I think the one's still alive here. Gotta be careful. They're both still alive. Get back, ghosty bitches! Ooh, double kill! Let's go! That double red ring of death, though. <laughs> Got him. Well done. Got him. Alright. Before I got interrupted, I was gonna read. Was the ring of the that had the crackling, groaning? That shit gets me every time. Yeah, the crack. Yeah, I honestly, I haven't actually watched the full movie of the ring, and I've actually never seen the Grudge. If that helps you at all, I'm not really big on horror movies. I just think they're not very good most of the time. I've seen plenty of other ones. I just haven't seen those ones. Anyway, that door's locked. That's kind of what I expected, though. Alright, before I go across this spoopy-ass bridge, which I didn't expect there to be two homies trying to murk me back over there where there's a bridge, I'm going to ignore going that way for now. 
but I'm gonna go over here where that little boy ghost was at and say what's up to him. Hola, little boy ghost. There are large, countless, or countless large gashes in the door, and there's a rusted sickle stuck to it. You tried forcing the door open, but it wouldn't budge. Fucking rusty sickle, dog, all up in the way. So there's a door there that I can't open. The Grudge series is the only horror series that straight up freaks you out. I guess I could see that. Your favorite of the series is the fourth Japanese movie, Boy. Okay. Again, haven't really seen those movies, so... Uh, let's see. There is a door here, and there's more things down there. Let's just check this door first. Can I go in here? Looks like you can enter the building. Then, nope. If it's going to give me an option like that, we're going to pass. Let me finish looking around out here first. Down the spoopy staircase where I can't see a damn thing. More cutscene? Yup. <laughs> something in front of the dough first of all <gasps> crimson butterflies something shows in the photo looks like the crimson butterflies well, you would be correct that is correct they're like ghosts in front of me oh there's a few ghosts in front of me all right hello may we be friends forever would you like taste of my shit boyo you die already dude seriously just i just want this one to die you're dead now you over here with your stick of justice your giant butter stick of justice dog you better back the hell up, dog. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing. You better back the hell up, dog. So I guess when you take a picture of him, he swings at you. Okay. Got it. Get it, get it, get it. Ha! <laughs> Oh, come on. He's got fucking one health, basically. This music is very ugh. I will give you that. This is not, like, real music. It's very, like, staticky and weird. And got weird sound effects mixed in with it. Anyway, I think we got them both. I think we're good. What about The Conjuring? Again, haven't seen that one either. No, haven't seen a lot of, like... Is, is Conjuring another one of the ones that's, like, based on another Japanese movie? Haven't seen a lot of the ones based on Japanese stuff. Weeds grow thickly here. You couldn't possibly get to the back of the house. Not even if you had a weed whacker and or sickle. Also, that shit's locked, bruh. Conjuring is only American? Okay. I never watched Annabelle. There's a lot of... Let's just put it this way. If it came out in the last, like, five years, I probably haven't seen it. <laughs> because I I am so behind on movies. It is absurd. And then if it came out ever, you have to ask me. Because I've seen a lot of older horror movies. A lot of the shitty stuff. And some of the not-so-shitty stuff. Anyway, I kind of want to go in this building before I follow my sister. I don't even know if I can follow her. Alright, so this is a new house. We are now in the Kiryu house. Dude, if the ghost of Kazuya, Kiryu, is not here, I'm going to be upset. Oh, 
Okay, there could be a spoopy slideshow. That's, or, but not slideshow. Uh, it's movie reel. That's neat. Take the film or leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone for the moment. I'll grab it in a minute. Army of Darkness. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched Army of Darkness. I'm sorry. It's one of those ones I need to watch. But again, never got around to it. I was on a fucking horror movie kick for like a year one time. And then I just stopped Cold Turkey and never went back to it. Anyway, that door locked as fuck. Oh, I know Army of Darkness is not like a real horror movie. Also, what? Oh. Oh, oh, I see. If I have other film reels, I can play them. I see. I only have the one that I just picked up, though. Alright, well, for now, I don't worry about it, because all I got is number one. Numero uno. I'm the one. Numero uno. I'm the one. Herbal medicine. It's supposed to be a comedy horror movie. I'm aware of this, actually, Maro. I know I know what Army of Darkness is. My point is, is I've always wanted to watch it. I just haven't. I know it's not real, a real horror movie. Like, it's horror-themed because it's a sequel. To, it's like the third Evil Dead movie, essentially. But it's not really a, a horror horror movie. It's not scurry. And yes, I've seen the first Terminator movie. That movie's awesome. And yes, that movie is like a horror movie with the Terminator being like the fucking slasher villain. It's actually kind of scary. I agree. Before I go over here, though, I'm going to look back over on the other side of that house. I didn't... Oh, wait. There's a shiny. I want it. Yo, I got the Krizzle... What? Krizzoberal? Krizzoberal? The Krizzoberal. I don't even know how you say that. Krizzoberal. Did I pick up another crystal? Oh, you know what? I think I did. I forgot to... I keep forgetting to check these freaking things when I pick them up. Okay, so we already listened... To, oh, wait. Is there more on here than there was before? The head. I'm scared of the head, though. The head is the head is scary. All right, let's check out this Chris Oberol. These are so riveting. These are like straight out of freaking Silent Hill with these fucking staticky ass radio shit and their goddamn just weird like one lines being repeated all creepily. Anyway, let's check out this glowing blue, blue crystal we found in the cemetery. There is no time. Just one of them must suffice. Hurry. For the village. We must perform the ritual ourselves. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. God damn. Kill her. Kill her. If you do not kill her, I will kill you. All right. Where am I on points right now? I got 17k. We should do some upgrades. We should do some upgrades. Let me upgrade you. First of all, First of all, I have a spirit orb. I'm going to use it on sensitivity. Second of all, we're going to use up some of these puntos. In fact, I'm going to use it on both because I got enough of both. Isn't that nice? That's real nice. So anyway, the question in the chat right now is, would Final Destination and Saw, those series, be considered horror? 
let's break that down a little bit because I've seen most of like okay I've seen like the first three or four Saw movies and I've seen all the Final Destination movies I believe and I would conclude that in a way they are both kind of horror but not horror in the sense where there's like a I would say yes because there's a lot of suspense and you know people are gonna die it's just more about the interesting ways they die and that's pretty much both of them saw is more horror I would say than Final Destination um, but yeah that's probably what I would say also I already went in the store didn't I or wait did I oh yeah this is ugh, I'm an idiot I'm an idiot! It is the door that leads to the bridge. I'm sorry. I got all turned around when I started talking about the damn movies. Got distracted by my leveling up and stuff, too. Alright, let me check what's going on over here at the end of this hall. And then we'll move on. Cross the bridge. The Chinese. Ooh, more equipment for my camera. The stun power-up. Yo. It intermittently stops the movement of a spirit. Neato. So basically, you use triangle to use that shit. All right, cool. While this effect is in effect, the spirit will stop off and on, making it easier to grab a shutter chance. There's especially effective against quick spirits. Yeah, okay, same kind of thing as the other one, but a little different. Small lamp lights the surface of the table. Okay, I guess if I need to read something, we'll come back here. Folklorist number two. The guardian deity statues in this area are different in that they are engraved with shrine maidens. The village children say that the statues honor the gods of the village. Also, a book in the house links the statues to something called the Crimson Sacrifice. Maybe the forbidden ritual is related to this Crimson Sacrifice. Okay. You got it. Just like the sliding screens of the books line in the case have rotted, the books appear to be in ruined rituals and customs. Alright, so I guess we're done with that. There must be a reason for that lit table. I'm, I'm sure there will be something where it's like, man, if I only had some light and a table to read this. And I'll just be like, oh, well, I know exactly where there's a nice little table with some lighting. We can read this. Also, that door seems to be locked. That's unfortunate for me. Anyway. Saw really just went to shit, though. Okay, so yes, that was my other point I was getting to with Saw. While it started off as a horror series it got real more more ridiculous and just kind of became like you were saying a torture gore porn type of bullshit and also ah get out of my face you can't just pop out like this it's not fair back the fuck up get it Bizniche. oh god she's got some she got some skills on her. Let's do that. Get stunned, bitch. Got some perps. You know what? Fuck. Back up. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Back up, bitch. Ooh, damn. That was a nice hit, though. That was a nice, a nice, nice... Ooh, get it. What? How did that... Uh, I'm confused. How did that not do anything? Damn. Got her. System is... The system is so weird sometimes. Anyway, did we get her? I think so. Fudge that bees natch up. And she didn't drop nothing, did she? She didn't even drop nothing. I need to be careful about my my, my what? What? That say appeared to be locked. But, but mommy. But mommy. I wanted to get in there. So now what the fuck? I guess maybe I'm supposed to follow where my sister was at. That was the whole point. So anyway. Was it after like Saw 3 that I went to shit? I don't know. Saw 3 or 4. I, I Honestly, I think that's about where I stopped anyways. So 
think my intention was to watch them all, and then I got to about three or four, and then I was like watching it with my sister, and then we just both kind of were like, eh, I think we've had, both had enough of this shit, and then we never came back to it. Also, this little crevice of a room that I missed earlier has nothing, huh? Well then. Really worth it. What? Oh, I thought it said you can't get out here. Yes, I can. It says you can. So I can. And I will. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and keep following where my sister went. I'm not ready to stop. I, I got to go for at least like another 15 minutes. I got to go in about 20 minutes. So if I can go for about 15 more, that'll be good. Everything in this game is just fast-paced enough to where it should be fine if I move on just a little bit more. The gate is stuck fast. There are ornaments on the left and right doors depicting two people. There's a slot in each of the ornaments for inserting a flat square key. Guess who doesn't have a flat square key for either side? It's your boy Funky, sitting here not having any keys. How you doing? So wait, what the fuck do I do then? I'm starting to, well, I was going to say I'm starting to run out of ideas, but never mind. There's a bridge that we have, we were going to cross earlier, and I ran away from it, thinking that's not where we need to go. But you know what? It is probably where I'm going to end up needing to go. You like Final Destination, though, because at least it knows what it is. So, yes. I, I will kind of agree with Final Destination. Also, uh-oh. Follow the butterflies. Get them. Um, Final Destination knows what it is. It's just a bunch of weird, how is this person gonna die situations. And, like, I think that's kind of, there's some suspense and enjoyableness to that. Oh, some of them are hard to watch, though. Anyway, I'm sidetracked by Crimson Butterflies now. I'm following them. Come to me, butterfly. It's my crimson butterfly Black and blue and something 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 I'm trying to make up words that are not the real words But it's not working out for me right now because I'm scared. I'm scared. <sighs> Yai. All right. Yai. Is that you? I mean, uh, the person you keep calling Yai, that's me. Yes. Am I Yai? I have no idea. You are back, Yai. You and Sai have got to get out. She is at the ceremony mat. Yeah, you said that already. Go get her. There's still a chance. The keys to the gate are enshrined in the twin deity statues. Look for statues that are like that somewhere in the Hurry village. Up and get oh, shit. Out of here. I have to or go around and frickin' love, like I did. Oh. Oh. Do I have to take pictures of them? Or is that just this one specifically? Showing something in the photo. It looks like from the butterflies. Thank you for your crimson butterfly situation. Flutter over the statue of guardian deities. Okay. Good for them. Okay, so I have to check out all the statues that we've come across so far. And that's how we're going to find the keys. Isn't that just delightful? And yes, you're welcome for me singing the butterfly song. You're surprised the battery has run out of flat. Uh, the flashlight hasn't run out of battery at this point. Same. I don't know if the battery or the flashlight actually has a battery like limit. I think it's just we found a flashlight and we're using it. It's like Silent Hill. The flashlight never really had a battery. At least, right? I think the Silent Hill games didn't. There's no battery, right? Yeah, dude. We have the Infinity battery, dude. It's better than the Infinity Gauntlet, that's for sure. That piece of shit. Useless. Alright, I, I guess I'm going to go out this way first, because I know there's a bunch of stones out this way. 
Yeah, and there's a safe one up the hill as well. Let's just do that one first. Let's just go. Let's go toward the graveyard. We know there's a bunch of stones along the way. And we're going to check them all because apparently there's film too. See, I didn't check all these because I didn't realize it was going to be worth it. And now I know. Luke. Ra. Tiv. Wasn't there one Silent Hill that had a battery? Probably. I'm just not remembering which one. All right, so she looked all around. No key hidden there. Okay, so we literally have to check them all. All right. Let the fun games begin. Outlast had batteries, 100%. I could have told you that, though. I didn't say Outlast, though. Did I, Morrow? Did I? I was trying to point out other games that had flashlights that didn't have batteries. These are stumps, not stones, right? Okay, yeah. <sighs> okay, this is a riveting, riveting area. Was there any other of those freaking statue things around here? Um, Outlast is part of the silent verse? <gasps> nope. Speaking of silent verse, since it got brought up now, uh... Big shout-outs to freaking Janie Hill. She hooked us up with Silent Hill Origins, which I'm going to have to play for you guys one of these days now. Also, found the twin statue key L. Woot woot. That's one. I'm actually going to continue into the graveyard and check all the things anyways. Meh. You're talking between Discord and here? Eh. But anyway, yes. If you didn't see my, my unbox video, somebody, uh... Well, somebody. Freaking Janie, the one who gave me Silent Hill Homecoming and Resident Evil Revelation. She hooked me up with Silent Hill Oranges. Origin. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to play that someday. I, I honestly kind of forgot about Silent Hill Origins even existing. I thought it was just like a remake of one of the other games. I didn't realize it actually was like its own game. Like, I mean, I thought it's its own game, but I mean like it's, it's I thought it was a separate that was just a remake of one of the stories that already was in the series. And maybe it is. But, uh... Anyway, no key there. But my point is... I have it now. We'll have to play it at some point. And I thought she was going to be sending me Silent Hill Downpour. Because she told me she was sending me a Silent Hill game. That's what she said. She didn't say which one. She just said a Silent Hill game. So I honestly thought it was going to be Silent Hill Downpour. And that's what I thought it was going to be. Because that's the only Silent Hill game I was aware of that I haven't played. Other than Silent Hill. I knew Silent Hill Origins existed, but I never really intended on... I, I, honestly, I thought it was only a PSP game. But anyway, the version she sent me is on PS2, though. So, it's clearly not a PS2, PSP game. There must be another Silent Hill game that's a PSP game that's not Silent Hill Origins. Or maybe it is, and it's just on both. I don't remember. Either way, we have it. We're probably not going to be playing it this year, though. Like, or I should say this... Well, we probably won't play it this year at all, actually. I was going to say this Spooptober, but I don't think we'll get to it before the end of the year, either. I think we'll save it for some time, maybe hopefully early next year. I don't wait too long, I hope, to get to it. I'm going to try to get through more of the games people have been giving me. Also, holy shit! There are people here to murder me. They're trying to lynch my ass. I don't appreciate your fucking bitch ass shit. Please do not murder me. I'm just a little girl who is trying to live her life. And you won't let it happen. Cause you're oh, whoa, dude. There's too many of them. Holy shit. I thought there was only two of them. There's three of these motherfuckers. Sorry, we're going to fuck them up. Oh, God. Nope. Back up, boy. Back up, boy -o. Hold up. I need to back the hell up. They're surrounding me. Get it! Woo! That was a crit hit if I ever seen one. Let's go. If you can time that shit and get a headshot, it's over. Ah, oh, fucker. The other one hit me. Also, uh-oh. Crap. Crap. 
Crap, 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 pressing the wrong button's freaking out. Notice my health is low. Need to eat a merb. 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 That was the only reason I was saying crap so much. I was trying to make sure I didn't die. Get him. Ooh, damn, son. Up, though. All right, spear boy. Have some of that. Damn. A damn. Back the hell up, you spear motherfuckers. And done. Okay. Whew. That was a close call since I got jumped and hit a couple times there, and I was not paying attention to how close to my health was to being non-existent. Also, there's a shiny over here now. Don't know where that came from, but I'm taking it. Yo, Spirit Orb, hell yeah. Using it. Anyway, after Silent Hill 4, I never was really that focused on the series. Fair enough. You didn't mean Shattered Memories, that's on the Wii, where everything freezes over. Yeah, I played Silent Hill Shattered Memories for you guys already. It's basically a remake of the first game, but very different gameplay. Um, the best one after Silent Hill 4 is Downpour. Well, that's one I haven't played, so... I mean, it's technically on my list, but I don't have it, so it's not really on my list to, like, do soon or anything. It's just on my, you know, maybe someday we'll get around to it when I actually have a copy of it or uh, have it available for me to play. Because right now, not so much. Um, I'm going to use a Spirit Orb on... Man, I kind of want to use it on one of these abilities. I don't have enough points to level up anything right now, regardless. Also, this requires two Spirit Orbs? Or Spirit... Pa I'm... I don't know. I am going to use this on... I'm going to do it on this one first, because I like this... When it charges up, you do a lot of damage, so... I'm going to go ahead and do that one first. But we need the points to actually level it up, so that's fine. Also, we're going to have to stop here pretty soon. Let's run back over to the other side, like where the village is at, and then maybe we'll call this a first stream for Fatal Frame 2, baby. You heard that Downpour was the worst one by a long shot? Mm, I mean, I don't know if I've heard that. I don't know what I've heard, honestly. I've heard Homecoming was pretty bad comparatively, because I didn't think Homecoming was that good. But I also had people try to tell me that Homecoming's really good. But I'm like, um, okay. Like I've had even comments on it recently from Homecoming, like on the on the on the videos on YouTube and like with at least one person trying to tout how good it is. I'm like, dude, it's not that good. <laughs> also, why is there a cutscene again already? Well, I guess I did technically make progress toward the main thing, which is to find the keys. Also, uh oh. Am I really getting surrounded right now, or is this just a cutscene? This is no bueno if we're getting surrounded. Am I actually surrounded right now? I don't know if I can handle the entire mob. I don't know if I have this. I don't know if I have the the gall and the gumption and the skill and the and and the and the. And the. I think we're okay right now. Alright, let's get over to where that save point was over here on the way to that bridge. There's also another statue here. Nothing. And this will be a perfect spot to call it a day, I think. I'm literally going to stop right here for the day. I know we're kind of in the middle of the main objective, but we are on a Thursday. Thus, it is basketball night, and thus, I am on a time crunch to stop early. But at least I got a good chunk into the beginning of this game. I mean, we did the first chapter. We've made a little bit of a way headway into the second chapter here. And I'm having a good time hanging out with my homies, talking shit while we walk around and take pictures of ghosts. I mean, the gameplay is fun enough, and I'm interested enough in the plot to see where this goes. Can't say I'm particularly spooked out, but hey, the jump scares can only get better from here if we just got started, so. Um, yeah. Next time on Fatal Frame 2, we uh, do some more spoopy ghost picture taking. Hope I'll see you there. See you guys next time. Peace!